I'm at the Groundswell campus in Invermere, BC. And in this video, I'm going to talk about our primary water harvesting strategies. This particular site harvests close to 400,000 liters annually from six different sources, hydrating a quarter acre food forest, a commercial production garden, and a 3,000 square foot passive solar greenhouse. Let's get into it. The Groundswell campus is designed with a water-centric approach in mind. And so in that, what we did when we designed the campus is we took water uh, as a primary directive in where we placed everything and how everything connects together. So this is the top of our watershed. Behind me, you'll see that we have an eaves trough there, and that eaves trough is harvesting water off of the entire south side of the school. And that one pipe is going to harvest around 200,000 liters of water per year, which is directed into an underground cistern that exists in the garden that we'll show you in one of the future video clips. On the Groundswell campus, we have a 3,000 square foot passive solar greenhouse, the largest of its kind in North America. On the back of the greenhouse, we have a steel roof tin roof and on the front we have a glazed front surface which allows the light to come in. Both surface, surfaces harvest rainwater, um, however we, we actually redirect the water that comes off of the roof that's right behind me right here in a standard eaves trough into a downspout and into our 25,000 gallon or 100,000 liter rain cistern and that rain cistern feeds the rest of the property. On the back side of the passive solar greenhouse we have another downspout and that downspout feeds into a thin-walled ribbed pipe that we call weeping tile or drain pipe. And that drain pipe feeds into our primary swale, which feeds the initial part of our food forest. This is our primary swale on the site, and it is primarily fed with that weeping tile that I referred to uh, attached to the downspout on the back side of the greenhouse. This weeping tile will release water into the swale during rain events and the swale follows the entire fence line of the property and eventually spills into our constructed wetland, which is right next to our community classroom. 